Thanks, Jennifer. And people in Kalamazoo trying to heal from this unthinkable tragedy. Hundreds attended a prayer vigil tonight at an area church. 7 Action News reporter Camila Mary joins us live in Kalamazoo, where it has been an emotional night, to say the least. Camille. Dave and Brianne, to say the least, it was such an emotional night. So many people in tears as they mourned the lives of six people. A community in mourning, a tragedy hard to comprehend. One of their own opening fire on innocent strangers, killing six people. Tyler Smith was the youngest victim, car shopping with his father when they were killed. I have three kids and they all knew Tyler very well. And it's difficult, very difficult. I don't know what to say, I have no words. People gathered tonight in prayer, not only for the victims, but also for the alleged shooter, 45-year-old Jason Dalton. First few days of it, no, I don't think it will be easy. But, you know, God makes a way. He, his grace comes in and he pushes you along. Lieutenant Governor Brian Kelly offering words of hope and strength to a city shaken to its core. And religious leaders speaking tonight about the power of prayer. I want to speak to our city. I want to break fear off of our city. Amen. The enemy has come in to try to make us fearful, but our God is greater. And such an emotional night. Now, so many people I talk to say it will take a long time to heal from this, but they say their city, Kalamazoo, will not be defined by this tragedy. Live in Kalamazoo, Camille Mary, 7 Action News. Camille, thank you.